are you aware of the report from the Buckeye Institute estimating or, and the we had a Biden thousand. administration is wildly incentivizing these policies. Mr. General from Illinois, Ms. Miller, for five minutes of questioning. Okay. Secretary Vilsack, I'm sure you've seen by now countries all over Europe are facing protests from farmers because left wing governments are trying to destroy the ag industry to advance the climate change agenda. These farmers are tired of top-down policies intended to appease the left's climate cult, which make it harder for them to farm and feed the world. The Biden administration has taken similar steps to push this radical climate scam. From re-entering the Paris Climate Agreement to the EPA trying to make it harder for farmers to use pesticides to Biden's attack on American fossil fuels, this administration's policies threaten our farmers. The agriculture industry needs the ability to access affordable diesel, nitrogen fertilizer, and pesticides. President Biden puts that ability in jeopardy. In a report published last week by the Buckeye Institute, they estimate Biden's climate policies will increase farm costs by approximately 34% and increase grocery prices drastically for Americans. To make matters worse, Mr. Secretary, you traveled to the UN Climate Change Conference and told attendees that the USDA wants to quantify and track carbon sequestration and greenhouse gas emissions of farmers. Mr. Secretary, are you aware of the report from the Buckeye Institute estimating Biden's climate policies will increase farm costs by 34%? and thus increase grocery prices. I, I'm not aware of that study, but I am I'm aware of the reaction of the farm community to our Climate Smart Commodity Partnership Initiative, which is fundamentally different than what's happening in Europe. Um, sir, different. I can tell you, I'm actually a farmer it's, in Illinois. I can tell you the majority of farmers are not on board with this climate cult agenda. And that you are, and the we had Biden thousand. administration is wildly incentivizing these policies. And I can tell you, if all things were equal, farmers would rather plant corn than put a solar panel on the best farm ground in the world. That's not what this is, ma'am. That's not what this is, Congresswoman. This, so, this, sir, this. John Kerry said we can't get to net zero. We don't get this job done unless agriculture is front and center as part of the solution. Do you agree with John Kerry that we have to get farmers to net zero? I agree that that's an opportunity for farmers to make more money and for small, small and mid-sized producers to actually stay on the farm. Okay, this is a disaster for farmers when you are incentivizing them to put farmers solar panels it. on the best farm ground in the world. What is this going to do well, to our ability to feed people? Not only that, those solar panels do nothing but help our adversary China and going by the climate cults own uh, practices, China is using coal to produce these solar panels, and we don't have a reclamation plan. And not only that, it's messing up when farmers are in competition or uh, have to um, rent their land, and you've got people that are getting uh, uh, subsidies from the government making three times as much as a farmer makes of course you've got some farmers that are signing up. The, the uh, profit margin is so narrow on farms. You are forcing farmers into this. Look what's happening in Europe. And what I want to know is um, who's standing up for the farmers? Who's advocating for the farmers? Have you ever discussed agriculture or climate policy with John Kerry? Well, of course I have, and I've also discussed it with farmers. Oh, what had, was your discussion well, with John let me Kerry, the, sir? You know, ma'am, I would like to, to know what you discussed with John Kerry, I'm because happy. you're advocating for the farmers. We need you to advocate for farmers. I am. And for the people that have to turn around and buy the food at inflated prices if these radical policies are put in place. These, the, <laughs> our program is voluntary. It's incentive-based. It's market driven. It is precisely what the Food and Agriculture Alliance, which is made up okay. of 80 large organizations, Farm Bureau, <laughs> National okay. Farmers Union, every major commodity group has requested. In Europe, the, the rug has this been pulled Europe. out on the this farmers is, because they, they. This is not Europe. 
Yeah. This is completely okay. different. No one is on the side of American farmers, you but this to, committee. You need to the learn Biden administration it. has done everything in their power to attack the family farm. We're not going to let you jeopardize our nation's food supply for the car climate change agenda. That's not true. That's not true. We're doing what farmers have asked us to do. You need to, you need to sort of study up on this because it's not Europe. It's not Sir, it's I'm a farmer. Of Europe. The farmers want policies. Okay, thank you, and I yield back. General Lady's time has expired. A solar panel on the best farm ground in the world. That's not what this is, ma'am. That's not what this is. This administration's policies threaten our farmers. The agri increased grocery prices. I, I'm not aware of that study, but I am I'm aware of the... To the UN Climate Change Conference and told attendees that the top-down policies intended to appease the left's climate cult I'm sure you've seen by now, countries all over Europe are facing protests from far